Today is Friday. Mm. This is the day where we all march after work to the Perez Dome or Adum Praise. Yeah, baby. Yo. Six p.m. Yeah. We are, is this we are coming. Yeah, the, 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 the doors will open at three p.m. So early entry. If you've been following us every year, then you know that mm. traffic can jam. But yeah, yeah. of course, the session will begin at so six p.m. Yeah. Make sure, of course, um, make sure yeah. you tell your boss. Yeah. Can I can I can I send a birthday shout out to, to mu uh, gospel musician Godfrey OJ? Godfrey. Today's oh. <laughs> today's OJ's birthday. Happy mm. birthday to OJ. OJ is not a, on our bill, but it's his birthday today. Special yeah. birthday shout out going out to him. Uh, OJ, yeah. Mm. Wherever you are, happy birthday to you. And I have another shout out before we get into our relationship Friday. Mr. Kwejo Blay, Upper West Regional Director of the Ministry of Trade and Industry. I've been asked to say good morning to you. It's a special one to you. All right. It's our relationship Friday, guys. Yeah. And you seem to be really excited about what we're discussing today. Mm -hmm. You started the conversation with Benedict. Yes, we have yeah. quite... We have quite like it a, was the sports headline. Quite a conundrum mm. uh, to deal with this morning. Mm. Somebody has a big problem in his marriage. Mm. And uh, <laughs> I don't know how controversial I'm allowed to be today. But first, let's see what the problem is, right? Yes. Yes. Let's, let's see. This is what we received from one of you, our viewers. Uh, and it's uh, from Ofosuhini in Ejisu. Now, he wants to divorce his wife because she's been denying him sex. AM, I have been married for eight years and I have a problem with my wife's sexual life. In fact, she doesn't like sex at all. Even one round once a week is a problem. I have spoken with her to try and improve, but she doesn't seem to care. I've thought of going out to satisfy myself, but I'm a Christian and I love Jesus. Besides, I don't want to cheat on my wife. I want to file for divorce because I'm getting frustrated. For the past eight years, I have been trying and I'm tired of trying. And if I watch my wife critically, I can see that she doesn't even care if I go out to satisfy myself. Last month, I told her I'm tempted to go out to seek sexual pleasure because of her behavior. She told me that would be my own problem with God. Dear AM, I once asked her if she was not told during counseling that when you marry, you must have sex with your husband. She answered by saying that she thought sex would be once in three months. My wife seems not to have any desire for sex, no matter how you touch or seduce her. Sometimes I think I married my fellow man. I need help. I have been suffering for the past eight years. Please, what should I do? Ofosu Hene, Ejisu. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you are moderating. Hey. We are waiting for you. <laughs> Please moderate. Then you say you, you won't say. So we okay, will put, uh, you are posing the question. Use your moderating oh, influence. You say oh. you, you won't say. So, Am I moderating yeah. the session? Okay, so that's the letter that we got from uh, Ofusuhini in Ejusu. This is, you know, sex in marriage, um, not having the appetite, not wanting it, that kind of thing is a really a familiar thing. Uh, I guess every married person, if they want to be truthful, yeah, because you can't have it every day, you can't have it every week. Some people try, uh, but in your case, I think this is particularly different because you say she she thinks she can go even three months, uh, and and that's that's a bit different. So you are the guys, you are men, because you know when it comes to women, I know that we have the capacity to go um, long days, long weeks, and even months without wanting it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, no, so we don't know. You guys, no, you are that. saying it. No, right. so, so I'm saying, I'm saying yeah. it. Yeah. See, on behalf yeah. of my girlfriends, yeah. Yeah. because this is a, a familiar conversation. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's you guys it's, are different. It's a kind of want it every day. Thing. It's a every hour. Thing. It's not about it's not about wanting it every day, every hour. He he he. From his story, he's married to somebody who does not enjoy sex with mm. him. So it's not about the frequency of it. And it's not like That's they're not fresh. They're freshly married. That's not the problem. It's not like. Um, they have very good sex, but she doesn't want it often. That's okay. not it. The problem is this woman doesn't appear to enjoy sex at all. And she had that view before she came into the marriage. Because that's what he is saying. That she expected, before they got married, that it would only be every three months. So in fact, his one, once a month <laughs> is, a, is, is, is more than she expected. Allah. So if, if you go in expecting that... Sex is a chore that you would only have to endure four times a year. 
you know, then you, you have a certain view of sex. Now, there might be a reason for this. Mm -hmm. There might be something in her past that has led her to have that perception of sex. But you see, this is the reason why sometimes I feel like we don't do enough before we get married. And when I say we don't do enough, this is, is, the, part where, this is the part where I might be a bit controversial. Because Shoots. counseling is number one. Yes, I think there is a need, a huge need for enough counseling. Like, and the counseling has to be professional. I'm, I'm sorry, but some of the anti-Gladys, anti-Mary people that the church points a finger to in the congregation and says, you are a counselor. I'm sorry, but they are not qualified. It is a profession. Okay, to, marriage counseling. It's a profession. All right? You, it's not about just doing mediation. You know, mediation, the two fishermen are fighting over a boat. That's when you need mediation. Marriage counseling, it's about psychology of individuals. No two couples are the same. No two humans are the same. And, and the counseling has to be in-depth to the point where you start to understand the neurosis of each person that is coming together in this union. So that some of these things will be spotted early. Okay, so that if it needs some sort of professional help, to deal with a preconception or a traumatic experience in her past that is mm. making her have this view of sex, then it can be done mm. before you get into marriage, at which point you are... You so are, are you saying they should have sex before the marriage? I don't understand. You see, this is where I was going to get controversial. Now, I know that there are many Christians watching who do not want to hear... Or Muslims. About, and, and Muslims as well, who do not want to hear about sex before marriage, even though they all do sex before marriage, not all of them. They, they often do sex before marriage, okay? But they don't want to hear about it because it goes against their Christian principles. I know they don't want to hear about it, but there is something healthy about knowing each other well before you make a commitment. So you're advocating no. for sex before marriage? No, please, I can't because do that. Because that, that could cure I can't, I can't, some I, of these I things that, that you are outlining. I'm saying that it is an advantage that some people have. The fact that they know each other well before they enter an... Including uh, their sexual uh, yes, behaviors. Yes, including sexually. Uh, before they enter into the bondage of... Mm. The bond of marriage. Sorry. Hey, marriage where are you going to say the bondage of marriage? Forgive me. Mm. For some people, it is bondage. If, yes, if really sex is, is painful, difficult, uncomfortable for you, then marriage can be bondage. You know? So... I'm saying there I is insist you should write to AM. Anyway, go, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying there is a certain advantage mm. of knowing each other well, sexually okay. as well, okay. before you enter into that commitment. But it goes against Christian beliefs. It goes against Muslim beliefs. It but you clearly don't believe in that. Beliefs. Uh, um, so, so I understand why people don't want to hear it. Mm. But, uh, well, this is what you get. Roland. I, I don't think that having sex before marriage is a bad thing. Um, if you're a Christian, it is wrong because the Bible has dictated that it is wrong. If you're a Muslim, is that true? If you're a Muslim, that it is so. Okay, we can, can debate that. By can the we way. can we talk about but the letter now? Yes, mm -hmm. and um, I think that it's a it's a subject for communication because I think the reason why you need to know each other, whether it's a day, a week, a month, ten years, or even two years before you get married, is that you want to iron out certain things. Is sex one of the things that we talk about? I'm just thinking, is sex one of the things that we talk be. about when we are, when we are courting? Do be. we talk about, oh, how frequently we, we, would, we would do well, it? Not, or not we necessarily that, but, <laughs> I, but I know that, but I know that you see, many, many guys in this, during dating will try to make advances, guys of today, and it is there you get to know whether your guy is sexually active or not. Whether you are active. Yes. Or you mean whether he likes sex or not? If yes. Sexually active, dear. Yeah. It just means you have had sex before. No, it's just, if you're sexually active, uh, well, maybe as in a way we'll be at. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so I get it. Okay. So you get to know. So it's there, then you start asking the probing questions. And that person also needs to ask you questions. So how often would you want us to have sex? And then, and then you need to get to some ah, of did it, Wait, wait, hold on. Really? I want to get practical with this. I mean, it didn't come up when I was courting. Yeah, it didn't come up because it's not something that no, really like no, I'm thinking. It's not that you, you should ask. You have to have a conversation about. I don't think so. It, I don't think you should ask 
how often do you want to have sex? Well, like, not yes, necessarily yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, if you guys are friends, but it is, it you, is you, one of the you things that you will discover about mm. your partner. Yeah, you if will you, eventually if you discover. get to know them well enough before you enter into a commitment. Okay, when you say well enough, okay, uh -huh. the, the, I'm, I'm, the point that you I'm, earlier made. Yes. All right. That is one of the things you will discover. You don't have to have a conversation about it because if you have never had sex with someone, how can you say I want to have sex with you three times a week, and then you get married and you find out the person is actually quite bad in bed? Then you have committed to three times a week, so you have to keep doing it. Could it also be possible? Who, who and I know that it's highly, it's highly possible you that somebody could be, could be very active in the early years mm -hmm. and then after a while just relax and not want to have it. But the other issue is possibly because we're not hearing from her, we're hearing from the man. Mm. Uh, what would make a woman not want to have it? Uh, I, I, I was yeah. thinking when I when I read it, I, I I thought maybe it could be that the man was good at the, was bad at the beginning, and sometimes some people will tend to adjust with the routine, mm. and over time it could also have some impressions about whether they want to engage somebody at all. Because let let let's be realistic, if your man or woman is bad, the thought of even going to engage in the act whether it's courtship or it's a relationship of marriage, sometimes you, you want to dissociate or you get discouraged. So if the person so, is bad, sometimes so you, 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 you is, just don't want to What engage. you're saying is he may have left a bad impression on her. Could be possible. That yeah. could have formed. And that thing is very powerful. I mean, Even I though I don't know how bad two, three, four, but yeah, yeah. Charlie. Look, I, I don't know how personal we can get on this. Please thing. do. So well, it's, early, it's early hours. No, I'm not, so, I'm not talking about okay. how explicit. I'm talking about how personal. Yeah, you can. Uh, okay, can. let me say... When it's personal, it's better. Let me say a friend of mine. Who could be you? A friend of please. A friend of mine, right, mm -hmm. met a girl, woman, who hated oral sex. Didn't want to allow anybody to, you know, go down on her. This guy, too, he likes that. So he tried to convince her. And she was like, no, 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 I tried it once. It was terrible. It was horrible. Horrible experience. No, 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 no. He finally managed to convince her to have oral sex with him. And even now that they are not together, she still texts him about it sometimes. Oh. That's how good it so was. The impression so sometimes you create a, bad a, bad a bad experience can create a lasting opinion of negativity Absolutely. about sex. Yeah. And sex is such an intimate thing that if you get it wrong, you, you would never want to even go So back it may it, not know? necessarily have been a Fusuhine in this context mm. who may have left some bad experience it, on, well, it could on be her mind. From her past. It may not, it could be from her it past, could it could be from, from him. House. Yeah, it could yeah. be from him. There could be it other could, factors It could also well. be, um, if you read literature, there's, there are all indications that for, for women who tend to have sex very much early in life, uh, at some point, and many of the times you get to find that when they're married, they, they seem to have some level of disinterest mm. in sex. Like a normal Is that it? Yeah, at some point, yes. At some point. Mm. Okay. You tell me. I mean, you're, you're married. Did, did you go through a phase hey, when you just... <laughs> oh. Let me sit down. <laughs> don't, don't block my view. Don't block my view. Which Listen, I to see. So, so, you know, I, 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 I said I was talking about my girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And as girls, girls, you know, when you meet, you mm -hmm. talk. I mean, it's just... The, stop doing that. It's not something, at some point in your life, some stage, depending on how busy you get and all, it's not something that you feel for every week. Yes, you know? sure. Plus, the that reality kind of is, look, and this is something we don't like to talk about, but the truth is, this is sex with the same person. After a certain time, it gets boring. you know every bloody move Routine. this person has to offer. You know everything he's going to do or she's going to do in bed. You know every sound and when it's going to be made. You know every move. You know every time he's going to turn from this position to that. You know which position he's going to climax in. You know these things. So what's your you point? Have, it gets so, boring? So it just, look, if the thing is predictable, it can't be enjoyable hmm. forever. All right. Okay. So the thing is, there are many reasons why a woman could feel, Thank you. Can feel like, she doesn't want yeah. to have sex. Okay. But in this case, there are peculiar yeah. circumstances. So if, if you've just joined us, this is our Relationship Friday conversation where you write to us about a personal relationship issue. We'll discuss it, you know, uh, the best way that, you c that we can. But you know, we are not experts. Uh, we'll also give it out there for people to phone in and share their opinions. And we'll try and get professional help 
on this. So here's our letter that we received again from Ufosuhini in Echuso. Dear AM, I have been married for eight years and I have a problem with my wife's sexual life. In fact, she doesn't like sex at all. Even one round once a week is a problem. I have spoken with her to try and improve, but she doesn't seem to care. I've thought of going out to satisfy myself, but I'm a Christian and I love Jesus. Besides, I don't want to cheat on my wife. I want to file for divorce because I'm getting frustrated. For the past eight years, I have been trying and I'm tired of trying. And if I watch my wife critically, I can see that she doesn't even care if I go out to satisfy myself. Last month, I told her I'm tempted to go out to seek sexual pleasure because of her behavior. She told me that would be my own problem with God. Dear AM, I once asked her if she was not told during counseling that when you marry, you must have sex with your husband. She answered by saying that she thought sex would be once in three months. My wife seems not to have any desire for sex, no matter how you touch or seduce her. Sometimes I think I married my fellow man. I need help. I have been suffering for the past eight years. Please, what should I do? Ofosuhene, Ejiso. So that's a Fosu Hines letter that, uh, you know, we received. I think there's a, another letter that we, we, we haven't had a say on, which is, should that lead to you wanting a divorce? Is mm. that, like, legitimate enough? And no, let me not even say legitimate enough. Everybody has a reason for wanting to leave their marriage. Mm. I mean, who am I to question mm. that? The question is, should Fosu uh, get a divorce? And, you know, we've been talking about what might be causing the woman to feel that mm. way. But let's put ourselves in Ufosuhini's shoes mm. for a minute. Eight years. Eight years of being in a relationship with a woman who does not desire you physically. Not being desired. Eh? Not being desired is perhaps uh, one of the most demoralizing feelings um, I, I, can, I can imagine. Can you, can you be with somebody who doesn't actually want you? Uh, w what that must be like. Mm. You know, every time you try to touch her, she recoils, you know. Yeah, you, it, it, nobody should feel that way. So I can understand why he wants to consider this option. Uh, and it's not just, it's not about whether or not, it's not that, oh, this is all marriage is about or whatever. But if that is not part of your marriage, then what? Should you go for that elsewhere? I mean, the woman said to him that she doesn't actually care if he goes out and has an, has a, has an affair. You know, so it, what, is the, what are the options available to him here? Stay married because marriage is sacred and then go and have an affair elsewhere? Is it, is it physically possible to make this woman like sex with him? Is it possible? Is there anything that I can think be it done? Is. I think it is. Well, I everything is, is possible, but yeah. do you really plan for everything? It, it, this is something that I don't know if I would plan for as a possibility if I was in that position. It depends on what I've tried. It depends on how much I've tried, mm. how many things I've tried, how, many, how much help I've sought. You know? And if at a point, after all of this, this woman just doesn't desire me. I won't want to be around. Uh -huh. So I like the, the things that you said. So mm. it depends on how much you have tried, mm. what kind of help that you've tried mm. to bring in. And I think this is a very important step for us. And that's why, uh, you know, very soon we'll be joined by Dr. Emmanuel Hobson, a clinical psychologist uh, with that professional side of things, which mm. is crucial. Because, you know, I feel that there's something fundamentally wrong. You know, for, for you to say, oh, I can't give you and I don't care if you go mm. out there to, to get it. Yeah. And I, I, I haven't heard anybody say once in three months. You know, that's also, <laughs> yeah. So listen, uh, before it's Dr. There, Hobson joins, it's joins there. us, it's <laughs> you'll there. be activating the phone lines now, 0302 or two. There are some people who say they've gone like a whole year without it, but I don't, While know, how married. I don't know how that is possible. While married. There are, there are a lot of men who don't voice, who don't, who don't say it, but there are things I wouldn't have really. divorced. So I would have found other means. So. You'll you find other means. Other means in terms of, you know, find another woman who would give you and, and yes. then you come home and you smile and... Well, yeah, in this case, I, I, in this I, case, I, I, he says I would she, divorce she, In this do case, that. she says she doesn't care anyway. Keep the home no, happy I, I and then we're all going. She's not I interested in sex. Do that. I go, I, I come, I'm free. I have a happy home with somebody who doesn't desire me. So I would rather divorce. Than, you know, I think I, so, can, so I can have a happy home like that. Okay, so you, everybody you, you, happy. There's nothing Kodja, you wrong say, with that. You say somebody who doesn't desire you. Mm -hmm. So you think refusing your sex 
mm-hmm. uh, or not giving in mm-hmm. means she not doesn't desire. Not wanting to have sex with me. Means she doesn't desire you. That's what it means. Maybe I mean, she if likes you, other if you things desire about some, you. No, I'm talking about sexual desire. So if you, if you desire someone, you, 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 want to have, you wouldn't say no to now, them. Should that be a point of divorce? I, I would rather be out of that marriage mm. than stay in and then go and get sex from someone else mm. who desires me. Yeah, I, I, I would rather. I, I, I wouldn't you, have you, 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 You'd no. seek happiness elsewhere, come back home and pretend. Sexual pleasures elsewhere. elsewhere. And, and then come, come back, back home. home and smile. It's not pretending. It's like, it's a cozy relationship. We have to make sure, because they have children. So and I think like I would have been in the, in the marriage because of the children. Okay. Ah, so it would be like okay. an open yeah. relationship. I, 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 yeah, of course. I, I, I will of leave, course, I won't, I won't tell her that. So I will what leave if? the marriage because of the children, because if we are unhappy, the children will benefit from that. So, uh, yeah. I, th- I think I, I can keep the home happy. Let's like speak that. to Frank. Frank, I know she's in Kumasi. We'll come to you, Richard. Uh, first, Frank. Good morning, Frank. Hello, I mean, Frank. Yeah. Um, yes. I think I think that this, these days the women basically m- must have fall from the sky. <laughs> it makes no sense saying to your partner that you're gonna give him sex only for for once in three months. Do you see dogs outside as a pet? This woman is just wicked to the man. That's all. You I don't. Mean, you don't. Just, you don't think out from the marriage right away. Okay, but you don't think that she could be going through some. Uh, she she may possibly have some challenges. Okay, so tell the man, tell your partner, or tell your parents, tell the your 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 in laws if you have an issue. Tell somebody. Don't okay. stick to yourself and to someone. Okay. All right. Frank, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for sharing your thoughts with us on this matter. Let's see if we have Richard, uh, who is also calling from Kumasi. Richard, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Okay, thanks for staying. Let's hear your thoughts. Good morning, Mama V. Good morning, Richard. I think the man has the right to divorce the man. For me, the, woman. the only lances for divorce is, uh, is, is fornication, though. But the Bible says the hands that disturb you, who can cut it off? And a chimu. I don't know. You try and think it. So in this case, the woman is the hand. The man can cut it off. If this one will lead the man into hell, I think the man can he can cut it off. I support the man fully. I've never been to this situation before, so I just snub it, and then I, I had a person who can satisfy me. So, uh, who can uh, satisfy me? So Th- that, that's uh, interesting. You have been yeah. in such a situation before, right? Yes, yes. yes. So, so you know the, the person you were with, the one you left. Yes. Did she? Did, you know the woman that you left, the one who was not satisfying you, or the one yes. who was not enjoying sex. Yeah. Did she find a new partner after you? That one I don't know. Okay. Maybe mm. he, might, he might have a new partner. But okay. He has my not to do what. That means it will leave him to hell. So you can cut it off. Mm. Thank you. All right. Yeah, Thank you very much, Richard and Kumasi. I like the fact that we're hearing from men. Sule is in Tamale. Good morning, Sule. Yeah, good morning. How are you? Oh, I'm very well. Thank you. Yourself? All looking good. Great. Let's hear you. Yes, yes. I think that, uh, first of all, I have to comment your station. I have been sitting and listening every morning, especially when I find the two of you. I don't want to watch and find one of you missing. Sometimes <laughs> the two of you, the conversation, uh, Roland, Kojo, you, Mama V, I want to find the two of you. Thank you. Thank you. I speak on radio and television here a lot. And I, in the morning, I normally learn from the two of your conversation mm. and I use that to apply what I'm on TV or television here. Thank, thank you. you. But thank I you think so much. Mm-hmm. Very much. I admire the Lord. For me, I'm a, let me just put it that I'm a sex mania. I wife is just lying in my bedroom right now. Each and every day I sleep with my wife. She accepts it. Really? Every day? Yeah. Oh. She just wants, uh, she's just pregnant right now. We continue but she, but she's now. okay with it? She's okay with it. It's the thing that the woman do not love the man. When mm. you are in love, you can do everything possible to save your patient. Mm. That is how it is. Even if Painful it is, whether you hate it, you don't like it, you do it. I married my woman, and anytime I look at my woman, I feel like making love. Anytime she looks at me. So, so how, long, how long have you been married? 
We've been married for almost uh, a year uh, and a half now. Oh, okay. Since, since, yeah. And okay. I think that, and that is not even in my previous relationship, not only my wife, in my previous relationship, I have had sex with my woman any time that I want. And I've never had, I've never seen this before. Okay. So if you, you were, understand? if you were in a for so uh... I would advise that if they have children and once the Christian marriage, she, she, he should go back to the people who counsel, like what you said. The counselors should be much weapon in the knowledge of psychology of human development that they'll be able to educate the man and the woman. So he should go back to the church. Let the pastor advise him. We cannot advise him here. Call the woman. The woman should be cautioned because the issue is not in, on, on the public domain. Mm. So that when they are cautioned and the woman is not taking over again, he can go through the divorce process. Get the woman up to take care of the children, and mm. then get a woman that can satisfy and she'll be happy in marriage. Okay. All mm. right, Sole. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, very very... Interesting. Yeah. Mm. I opened <laughs> can up you for imagine me. that? Yes. He Thomas. has sex with his wife every single day. Yeah, because every that's what day. he wants, and I mm. and, and she's okay with it. Not all of <laughs> That's what he said. Thomas yes. is in Kintampo. Hello, Thomas. Mm. Thanks for holding. Let's hear your thoughts. Yes, Thomas, you're on air. Okay. Oh, I. <coughs> Hello. Oh, yes, hi, Thomas. We, we can we can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, I think uh, the woman should see a doctor. Yeah, because maybe it could happen. Yes, it could happen. Maybe the sensitive organs are for the uh, maybe, uh, sex. Uh, let me say uh, some cells. Some cells could not be functioning well. Mm. Some of her so, okay. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to put it. So oh, no, we, but we understand where you're coming from. Okay. So if some of the organs are not uh, functioning well, because I can't see why, what? Yes. Yeah. So okay. it's just a short. Okay. I don't have All right. I, I, I believe you should see a doctor for okay. some treatment. All right. Uh, Thomas, we get you. Thank you very much for your contribution. And I would appeal that when you call us, please turn down the volume on your TV sets. Let's communicate through the phone. Other, otherwise, we will have uh, some delays in the conversation, which will not be exciting. Uh, let's speak to Kwesi Mante in Akimoda. Kwesi Mante, good morning. Good morning, Ian. Yes, thank you for calling. Let's hear you. Um, I like the topic this morning. I think there's an aspect of this problem the church is failing in. And that is the counseling aspect. We have a situation whereby people just go for three months of counseling. Just three months. And it is not enough to delve deeper into an area such as sex. Because sex is a thing of the mind. She could have had a personal past experience mm. that made her think sex is awful, sex is bad, sex is punishing, and all that. Or she could have even had the experience of yet other people, and these have informed her psyche. Mm. And so it makes her see sex as a bad thing. And whoever did the counseling should have had enough time to deconstruct all these blocks. But here we are, just three months, two weeks, we say we are done counseling. And we put them together, and we have such a bomb. Eight years mm. down the line. So for you, what would be the ideal length of time for counseling? Uh, it, it all has to do with finishing the job. If it would take a year to finish the job, you have to do it. Mm. Counseling for a year. All right. <laughs> yeah. And the job Even really if it finished. Take, if it maybe counseling part, should continue after finish. marriage. Do it and do it well. Okay. All right. Uh, that's what you think. We appreciate it. Thank you for contributing to the conversation. Here's Maxwell Finn in Pristia. Maxwell, you're on air. Good morning, Maxwell. Maxwell in Pristia, are you on? Okay, we don't seem to have Mac, uh, Maxwell from Pristia, but you can give us a call, 0302211169102. The thing about the counseling, though. Hello, Maxwell. Maxwell. Please, I think my suggestion is, I think it could be important for the man to be divorced and married because how can... Um, hello. Okay, Maxwell, please let's communicate through the phone. So turn okay. down the volume on the TV sets. Hello, Maxwell? It could be a 
possible for a, a man to divorce the marriage because how can it be a possible for the, a marriage partner living without her? <laughs> Hello. Okay, Maxwell, we get your point. Thank you very much. Uh, if you could kindly turn down the volume on the television for us so we can speak through the phone, I think it would be very helpful to all of us. Yao Lebene is in Akashi. Efo Lebene, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Efo Yao. Hello. Mm, how are you, Mama? Oh, I am very well, thank you. Yourself? I'm doing well. Okay, great. And good morning to the guys in the studio. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Hi, hi, yo. <laughs> okay, I'll for you on air. Let's go. Uh, Tomari. Yes, Elfo. I don't know the age of the woman. She didn't really say. You know, some of when women grow old that they have hormonal challenges. And they are able to enjoy sex. Sex becomes pain and agony to them. So if we know about this, we would rather advise the man as to whether to, to press on to, to contain the situation. You understand me? So it, 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 it's difficult to, to be a man and say this without sex anyway. But, but I think we have to, to, to right, get to know the age of the woman and uh, like getting near to what we call uh, 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 menopause or something like that. Okay, Thank all right. Know. Okay, uh, very important point you raised you raise there. Fortunately for us, we have somebody who can do justice to that aspect of it. We will link up uh, with Dr. Emmanuel Hope Singh in a bit. Isaac is in Tetegu. Good morning, Isaac. Yes, yeah, good morning, AM. Yeah, <laughs> good morning, uh, AM. <laughs> Mm. We're, good. Bad, We're good. We're good. Uh, We're good. Well, for my thoughts, I would say I don't think uh, every woman loves sex when it comes to marriage, when you guys are, are married. So when your woman denies you, for me, I think first, when she has a psychological problem, or maybe she's not interested in you anymore. Because mm. a man and a woman being together, for me, I don't see, especially when you are married, I don't see why your, your wife is denied for sex. Okay. So, and the counseling thing for me, I don't think a year, two years, no. You yeah. can counsel a woman or a man when what they have in mind, that's what they have. It's mm. not about the counseling, it's about your thoughts and what you have in your mind, mm. and your determination, your view of going to the marriage. Mm. Okay. That's All right. how I see it. Okay. <laughs> Isaac, thank you for sharing. You know, it's funny how, I mean, during sex, during sex with a woman who's enjoying it, they can be so animated, so into it, so engulfed by the feeling of it. But when sex is not happening, they're like, oh, I can go without it for, I can go without it for six months, three months. I, I, by the act, they, are, they seem to be enjoying let's, it. Let's, I mean, let's, I'll, meanwhile, I'll meanwhile, in contrast, <laughs> When a woman is having a child, <laughs> oh, this is so painful, the most painful <laughs> feeling in the world. I hate you for putting this baby in me. As soon as the baby comes out, they want oh, another I one. do it again. <laughs> Charles is in club <laughs> on. Good morning, Charles. Thank you for holding. Okay. Uh, yes, good let's morning. hear you. Yeah. Morning. Yeah. Um, in fact, I, I want to contribute for the man to understand that such woman will lead him, in fact, uh, will lead him into another life in his next life of living. And so to wait and educate the woman that divorcing her because since they have children in advance, he should advise himself, sit himself with the woman mm. for the woman to understand what, where he is coming from. So the situation will be solved, but it will not solve the problem. Mm. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Are, okay. you, are, you, are you saying that if they divorce and he goes to get the next woman, the next woman will behave like the previous one. Is that what you are saying? Because his yes, problem, because his problem in the marriage is sex. Yes, yeah, any marriage that breaks, breaks the children's life in the future. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> let's, uh, this is something that. Okay, let, let's 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 let's, 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 it is, it is let's get Charles let's get Charles to make his point and then okay, Charles uh, land 
Charles, please land for us. Make your point. Uh -huh. Yeah. If, if you divorce, if you divorce to the mother of that, to the children, the, the, the children will remain. Who will come and be for the children to go to good school? Okay. So you think How that will that, their future mm -hmm. be? Okay. So you think that children would suffer? We will, we will put that. We'll put all of that, uh, and I'll, I'll let you guys have your say on that. But Charles, thank you very much. Let's speak to Abu. Abu is in Yendi. Good morning, Abu. Yeah, I'm ready. Yes, Abu. How are you? Oh, I am blessed. Uh, thanks for calling, but please turn down the volume on your TV set for us. We're getting some feedback. Hello, Abu. Are you there? Yeah. Are okay. You? Yes, we can hear you. Please go on. I, I think that the council is <laughs> not advisable because you get married. It is the two people contract. So you sign you, the two people sign a contract and at the end of the disagreement in your bedroom, you brought that particular agreement in the public. Let's see council. I said that uh, the council there is no idea. Okay, so you, you don't believe in counseling? No, no, no. I believe between you and your wife mm -hmm. or you and your husband. So, so, how, so, so how would you approach the, the issue that we have on the table? For example, <clears throat> this agreement between your wife, you must have to come down and make sure that the woman temper come down. It can be financial. It can be... Okay, so, so in this case, I get you, but in this case, it's a bedroom issue. So how would you approach it? Ah, uh, the bedroom issue. So, well, sometimes uh, it's, 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 it's a fair, fair idea. If the person is disagree, you have to hold on. Other woman or man. Mm. Okay. The patient is very key. The patient is very key. The man is very long, yellow. Yeah, if you don't have this question, what do you call it? Uh, uh, friends. Mm. So, so, okay, so, so if you are in Ofoso Hines, and, and I really want to understand what you're saying. That's why I'm asking you a lot of questions. Uh, no, that so, she says, so she says once in three months. Is this something uh, you can take? Well, if he, if he married, you know, he, he, he's not better than the man. It's not the woman. Okay. If he, he doesn't marry, he has to judge. Mm. He tells the way that... First to is to to be key, and the patient is the second because the woman you have been born the different uh, the different person from your home. The uh, the the the, the attitudes the the woman in your home you cannot get the attitude from your, your man the man who home. Mm, okay, all right, yo Abu, we hear you, Abu in Yendi. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys kind of disagreed with Charles on the. I did. Yeah. I don't know if you did too. Uh, he made a statement. Oh, the, the, yes. the, the effects of the, yes. He said that... Uh, every, on the child, uh, on yes, the, uh, the children when there's a divorce. Yes, when there's a divorce, it... The it future of the child. A, it, ha it always has a negative effect I, on I the child. I think it depends, That is not yeah. true. No, yeah, um, I, I yeah, also agree. It's not mm -hmm. true. I mean, there are times when actually the best thing for the child is for the parents to separate because them being together is creating a toxic yeah. environment yeah. for the Yeah, there are some times that the separation yeah. is actually better for the children. For the children, yeah. Yes. So, so, so that is not true. I just wanted to make that point. But yeah, I, I agree with you as well. Yeah, I understood what he was trying yeah. to say, though. But I know. guess sometimes somebody would form that opinion because of their own personal experience. experience. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you know we we will link up with uh, our professional very shortly to get the professional side of this. I think we all agree, do agree. There are a lot of men. Hey, I haven't had a woman call. It's strange, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's strange, and this is actually a topic on which I would have preferred right, to hear more women. More women. Mm. Mm. You know, because it's something that we need a certain amount of education. So you on. said something. You said that. Because apart uh, from you, we haven't woman, heard from any other woman. The, Maybe we can call Mikaela. Mikaela, please come. <laughs> or call us. Give me the apple. Give me the apple. <laughs> no, no, you said something that when, we, uh, when it's not happening, then we can say that, oh, it's okay if it's but not. But that's true. You know, yeah. That kind of, yeah, I mean, we can go for long hours. And mm -hmm. I, listen, I, I, I can count about how many girlfriends, maybe six, and we'll probably be singing the same tune. So I'm speaking for mm -hmm. It's a general, you can go yeah. for general thing with me. Weeks <laughs> without saying. Yeah. We, but yeah. when it's happening, yes. when it's happening like your, your actual soul is being transformed. No, so wh when it's happening and you, and you like it, you yes. really do like it. There are people who fake it. Uh, 
Uh, of course, okay. but I'm, yeah. but, but when you like it, yeah. you like it. But it doesn't mean that so, because okay. I really enjoyed it that way, tomorrow mm. I would want it again. Why not? You know that kind of thing. What will you I, have against listen, something you enjoyed? Not have against, but and rather listen, something that you was I, painful. I you want it. You want no. More so I think that see when when I was younger and there were no children and I didn't have lots of responsibilities, probably could do it every day. Mm -hmm. you know or even wanted but mm -hmm. when you have other things that you're thinking about mm -hmm. we need and again i'm not speaking for every woman no. mm -hmm. i'm only on behalf of my girlfriends you have a lot of work to do you know you yeah. kind of have to work on it mm -hmm. so it takes you to make me want want it, want it. Mm -hmm. you get so what i there mean there's a certain mental process that must happen thank you when you get a woman for to women. that point where yeah. she yeah. enjoys Sex the way you observe her enjoying it. Uh -huh. When they so, said you guys are the heads, what were you thinking? Okay, so 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 what if I can get you every day to get to that <laughs> moment? Yeah, then we do it every day. <laughs> they need they need the head. <laughs> They need the but head. I want to ask. Shall you, women oh, call? No, 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 no. But so, since we have you and your six other girlfriends, I think it's okay. <laughs> so, 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 we know that you have all Mikaela these responsibilities. Kola. You're, you're working mothers. You're schooling. Mm -hmm. You have children. You have. Um, Terrible husband, mm. but what? No, we don't have terrible husbands. No, no, no. Okay, boyfriends and mm. girlfriends. Mm. Now, now, I want to ask. Side what, 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 what will psych you guys up? What can we do to psych you guys up every day? If that is what we want. <laughs> okay, this one I, I don't know if I'm. No, not to you, you, your sis girlfriends, mm. not you. This one there, this one no, this one there. I think Listen, you. Listen, your sis girlfriends. Listen, we're taking Mama B out. This one is only what okay. sis girlfriends are Mama B out. Wait, wait. People are tuning in to hear. The Mama producer B. should not upload this on YouTube. <laughs> oh, we're uploading this. Listen, we're Listen. sure actually I, it's live. Please. Some of the Let's things that tickle women, I yeah. mean, is you know, the soft things. It's not. It's not like the hard like core things. Credit. Mm -hmm. You should no, not credit. You should actually. I should. I should feel that you're interested in me, like you're seeing me. Mm -hmm. You know, if I say you're seeing me, it's not like mm -hmm. you, you're looking at me. Okay. But I need to feel that you're there. In what mm -hmm. way? Get what I mean? Physically, psychologically, or what? Touching, or what? Or what, do, what, do, what? What do we? We need another. We need another session. We need another session for to this. Clarify, to oh. clarify. To clarify. To clarify. So it's not mobile money. No, no, no. It's, it's, so no, what, is, to do what with these money. women are saying on social wins. media that actually wins. send me mobile money and I will... No, I mean, that, that's business, that's isn't money. it? That's business. Thank yeah, you. Business. I'm glad you clarified <laughs> that. So what you're saying is that in order for you to enjoy sex, you have to feel like... You, you have to be brought mentally to the place where you are capable of enjoying sex. Otherwise... You're happy to go for months without oh, it. Oh, I am. I thank God it's not on me anymore. Let's link yeah. up with Dr. Emmanuel Hobson. <laughs> He's a clinical psychologist. Uh, he will help us with this issue. Uh, good morning, Dr. Hobson, and thank you so much for your time. It's good to see you. You've you've had time to good look morning. at this letter. How are you? Oh, I am blessed. I'm blessed. You've had time to look at the letter. So, from your perspective, okay. what do you make of the letter that we've received? Okay, the letter you receive actually um, is an issue that is not something that is not common. It, it is common with people and in, in marriages. But the first thing is that if they are willing to seek help, they can find help in a situation like this. Because there are several contributing factors to some of these things in relationship. The first one may be the person types we are dealing with, their orientation. And uh, we are looking at sometimes they have inhibitions because of their background and what they have gone through in life and their worldview and perception about intimacy and how the dynamics are. That is why they need to learn and to appreciate how they need to engage each other. It may possibly also be that there may be some hormonal issues in the situation where it will mean they need to also check that if certainly they 
want to work at it. But the man also needs to understand and to know the wife very well and to know the triggers and how to help the woman to also appreciate it. Most of the time, you know, men are attracted by what they see and women are attracted by what they hear. So most of the time, that gap brings some kind of uh, loose dynamics because they, can, they are not able to understand how to make the woman to also feel and be appreciated. So at the end of the day, the men get satisfied and leaving the women not to be satisfied. And if that continues for a long time, then the woman goes frigid because it is very difficult for them to respond to any kind of stimuli. And this is what makes them sometimes not appreciate the sex because the outplay or the outer cause is not much enough to help them to enjoy the intercourse. So that is what may be one of the things that they also need to check. So generally, it is not something that cannot be uh, resolved. It is resolvable when they are willing. So is this in the is this something that should lead to divorce? Because Oposohine says this is making him want to leave the marriage. Uh, possibly uh, to some people that can be a, a huge issue because it is more like you are not getting, satisf you are not getting satisfaction from whatever is going on in the relationship. But it depends on the person's interpretation of marriage and what makes marriage work and what marriage is all about. So if to them, sex is just the interpretation of marriage or marriage is interpretation of sex, then certainly anything going on around their sexual life mm. can be something they may want to mm. uh, look at as a source or a cause of a determining point where they will want to leave the relationship or not. That is why we need to understand what exactly makes the relationship relationship and what makes it marriage work. Mm. So if their interest is just about sex, then that may be the reason why he may be looking at not having a good sex being the determining point of wanting to leave the marriage. But marriage is much more than just sex. Okay. There but, are a but, lot but of dog. other things that mm. marriage brings and there is much... Doc, there's, there's something that yes. Oposuhine says, which is crucial. The wife doesn't care if he goes out to get it. That's right. Yeah, that may possibly, you see, you can also look at what is happening right now, not as a, as, as a symptom to something rather that is happening in the relationship and the marriage. But this is just that this is what we are looking at right now, and this is the problem that they have written the letter about. But there may be a lot of things that are contributing to getting them to where they are right now. So, take for instance, for a woman to not love sex, what are some of the things that have transpired? Have they been able to look into the woman's makeup? What is making it happen like that? What are some of her responses? What are the experiences she has had in life? What are the things that makes her to be behaving the way she's behaving? Have they sought out anything to help them to, re to redeem the situation before? If they have worked on some of these things for a long time and have gotten to a point where the woman is saying that, okay, I don't care if you go out and all that, then it means there is unresolvable problem that have degenerated to where they are right now. So to me, the woman, what the woman is saying is to me rather a symptom that can lead us to understand what exactly is going on. But because I don't think any married woman who loves their husband and everything is going on well, and because they are having uh, some issue with sex, the woman will just allow the man to go out and have sex with any other person. 
if the woman should say that I don't think she's saying it because she's happy about it, but she's saying it as a response to whatever might have been happening that is causing the frigidity or that is causing them not to enjoy their sex life to that have made them degenerate the situation to up to where they are right now. So to me, I will not see what the woman has said as a willing, full uh, desire to get the husband out there to go and do whatever she wants to do. But it is a response and as a result to something. However, it could also be that the woman may also give up because maybe he realized that she's not been able to do as much as she is supposed to do. So she has given up on herself. And we also need to understand the woman and her person type. You know, when the woman is phlegmatic in nature, they can be sometimes sarcastic and have some kind of weird uh, sense of humor. And they can also ignore certain things when they realize that it's going to depress them. So that may be the way she may go or handle the depression that she may be going through in order to not go further to be depressed. So it may be just a defense mechanism she's using in order to cause the husband not to worry her too much. So I think they need help and which um, possibly is there out there for them and not that they should give up and not think that there is nothing they can do about it and for that matter will lead to divorce. I don't think so. Dr. Hobson, what sort of help? would be given to a couple like this? What specifically can be done to a woman who is experiencing this sort of frigidity uh, to, to make her suddenly desire sex uh, again with, with her husband? First of all, there is you know, a need for a combination of um, diagnosis approach that they need to go through. Is that, is, so it will be both counseling, therapy, and medical attention at the same time, depending on the, the level of the issue that we are dealing with. It has to do with uh, hormonal issues that needed to be checked biologically or medically and psychologically that can also be worked on. If it has to do with a background issue that has caused some kind of inhibitions for the body not to respond to stimuli, that one also can be dealt with through therapy and also through counseling. If it has to do with a lifestyle, then certainly um, lifestyle and behavioral changes can also help them as a therapy to help them overcome this problem. And much more so if it has to do with any kind of, these days we have a lot of spiritual connotation to things, prayer also can help to one time or the other. So, um, so in the combination of all these approach, I think they can have help. They shouldn't give up. Okay, Dr. Hobson, we appreciate uh you know, the thoughts that you bring to this, the professional angle to this whole conversation. Thank you very much for coming through. Uh, that's Dr. Emmanuel Hobson. He's a clinical psychologist, and that's our professional on this particular conversation. So if you write to us, we can talk about it, you know, because we're also just like you out there. We'll activate the phone lines and let people have their say. But in the end, we'll get a professional to help us out. So I really, really do, do hope for Sohene that with all the conversations that we've had, and particularly with the clinical psychologist's um, intervention and the things that he said, you will not give up like now, but try and get some help. We don't know how much of that help that uh, you've looked for in the past, but even if you have, let's try these new angles. Uh, try and get a, a, a psychologist, uh, you know, go to the regional facility where you are, get the psychologist. Let's try and see if your wife can get some help. Hmm. Or the two of us, really. It's not just your wife. Some other persons have said, talk. The two of you talk. Hmm. So, you know, you hmm. can start from that. Hmm. Um, tell her how you feel. I think that sometimes we actually don't open up. We don't, yeah, we don't true. say. Yeah, you, you know, sometimes it, it becomes a bit difficult at some point in time when they have tried everything possible and they feel they're not getting the opening, especially on the part of women. Because uh, for many of the times, yeah. I have to be realistic. <laughs> Men don't seem to understand the way women and their psychology is. And we just think that it's just as straight as the way we tend to think. But women 
and it, most women, even some women, would need a lot more deeper uh, introspection, some more delving into what their, their makeup is mm. to get a better understanding of them. Look, if men will get to know the, the environment from which and the way women think, then I I, I, I I believe that many things would have been resolved. Yeah, but, but that's not it, it becomes it a conundrum. It, it, it becomes yeah. a conundrum we'll never can be say, able to solve. Can I say two is. things real quick? First one is this. Uh, Anka Onye religion. Anka, I would say, try before you buy. But our religion prohibits. Anyway. Um, the, second thing is, the second thing is this. Um, I, I realize that it's become the, the expectation that a man must put a woman in the mood for sex. That seems to be the responsibility being thrust upon men. Um, you would have wished that the women too were given that responsibility. I, I, you see, the women say they don't feel... We do it sometimes. No. I'm How? just saying that you if see, you want it as no, often it as is, you're calling that, for it... It is that expectation that yeah. makes it seem as if sex is a favor that women do to men. And, and to be perfectly honest, from the way the thing transpires, <laughs> I don't see how it is a man doing the a woman doing a man a favor. Nobody has said you're doing us a favor. Tongues. We're saying that we're two in this. I don't speak if in you leave it to us, yeah, I, 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 like I, I think I, I think we know these I, things, I, I but somehow we, I, I, I don't get that. Women seem to think that when they're giving you sex, it's for No, that's not what we think. You're changing this whole conversation. Why are you guys doing that? We haven't said that. That's not what we said. You know, and and before we wrap up, this conversation is also very much on Twitter. So a lot of you tweeting. Uh, K. A. Yadom, for instance, says the woman may have had bad experience when yeah. she was young. She may have been raped or molested, and that can greatly affect your desire. Uh, yeah, just so. like K. Yadom, quite a number of you, uh, you know, talking about this issue. So let's keep the conversation going. We learn from every experience that somebody shares on the show. I think we should have a part two of this conversation. Uh, on you know general because there are other things that you guys don't understand. Maybe we should get some girlfriends on the show. Yeah, let's do the this. girlfriends. Yeah, yeah. The six, the six <laughs> girlfriends.